Hello, Form C. This is a short video on how to do the graph in the number of Mentos and soda lap. So first, you should have your data table all filled out. This is fake data. Do not use it for your lab. Again, this is fake data. Do not use it for your lab. You should have gotten real data in class when we did the experiment on Grant Meadow. So I'm first going to copy this entire data table. I'm going to hit Command C or Control C, depending on what kind of computer I'm on, to copy that chart. All right. Now I need to go into Google Sheets. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go over to my nine little dots. I'm going to find Sheets. There it is. And I'm just going to open up a blank sheet. Okay. So now I'm in a blank uh, Google Sheet. I'm going to hit Command V or Control V to paste my data table into the lab. Okay. While it's all highlighted, um, I can then go up to where it says Insert Chart. And there it has created a nice uh, bar chart for me, but I need to uh, change things a little bit. So over here on the right hand side, let me zoom this out a little bit, make it a little easier to see. So over here, it has like trial one, trial two, trial three, and average. I'm going to remove trial one. I'm going to remove trial two. I'm going to remove trial three. And so then I've got the average all set here. Okay. So not a bad, and it indicated that I already have a number chart. Now I do need to add a couple of different things. One is I need to add a title to the top. And so I'm going to choose customize, and then I go to chart axis and titles. And here's all this stuff that I want to get rid of. And so my chart title, okay, should be uh, distance of spray versus number of Mentos. You can see as I type here, it shows up there, distance of spray versus number of Mentos. Right? Then I need to add a vertical axis title. So I choose vertical axis title. And that should be distance of spray. And I want to indicate that I measured that in meters. Okay. Distance of spray in meters. Already down here, I have number of Mentos. Um, the last thing that I want to do here is here it's counting by twos. And I really want it to count by ones um, in this case. So I'm going to go down to grid lines and ticks. And here where it says vertical axis, the step, I'm just going to add a one to it. And so there you can see that I'm going by ones. And then the count, um, we're going to count by ones as well. And that'll give me the have uh, ones. And then the last thing that I want to do, and this is more aesthetics, is I'm going to click on major ticks. And that gives me those nice little lines there on the left. And then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to do minor ticks as well. And that indicates my kind of half meters um, going from there. And after that, I'm all set. I'll just click on my three dots, copy the chart, and then I'll paste it into my lab report. That's how we do the graph for the number of Mentos and soda lab report. Thank you.